I happen to be one of the beneficiaries of Symbotics SYM's surge on Monday up uh, 51% I think when it was over and it's down some today but I want to explain why I happen to own it. Every day I do a screening of the stocks that are showing some um, increase in value from uh, one year, year to date, one month, one week and Symbotics showed up so I wanted to know something about the company so I went to my Seeking Alpha and I went and found the transcript for the second quarter uh, earnings report and Seeking Alpha offers me an opportunity to listen to it as well as read it and I like to do that because I I hear the inflection of someone's voice and and particularly if it's the founder of the company as it was on Symbotic it was Richard Cohn who is the CEO and and I really liked his sincerity and his explanation of how he started this business and built it and what his plans on the future were and what he had recognized was that there was a tremendous need uh, 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 in warehouses to be automated. Particularly he, he does some work for um, Target and Walmart and several grocery chains. He goes and contracts for to build robots and then builds into those robots a software of artificial intelligence so as to automate warehouses. And I really liked the idea and he the, the really the thing that sold me he said we have a backlog of orders of 12 billion dollars which meant they had roughly uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 years of business on the books that they were trying to catch up with. And I said, this is somebody who's figured something out and has taken what Amazon has done and now bringing it to, to other, other people. So that's where I was and uh, that's when I started buying. So let me take you to my chart where I show you where I bought in, why I bought in, I made three purchases, and why I benefited from uh, what happened uh, just yesterday. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, and what the scanner showed me was this climb here and got me interested in the stock. I saw it go down a bit. And then this is where I made my first purchase. That was um, around July the 10th, I guess it was. Then uh, it moved up a little and, and I, I learned more about the company. And so on about July the 13th, I made another purchase. It went up, it came down. I said, I'm going to buy into the dip. And I bought some more on July the 20th. Well, this right here is where they made the announcement that they had under they had gone into a contract with SoftBank and they were selling um, million some shares uh, for twenty eight dollars and um, and five cents and as you can see the stock was up at forty six and that's when the, the the market deserted it and here you have coming and then here is where they did their earnings report and as I said their earnings were fantastic. Well they made an announcement on July the 24th that they had entered into a collaboration or a partnership with SoftBank and under that agreement um, SoftBank was they were SoftBank was going to start something called Greenbox and what Greenbox was taking the concept of the automated uh, warehouse that they were making that they were doing for Walmart Target and and the grocery chains and making it available to smaller businesses anything from a Spotify to to what to a dock or whatever and because they recognize that the cost of warehousing uh, under the the normal basis and where you just go and contract for part of a warehouse was costing these small and medium companies five two to five times as much as what a large company what a what a, a Amazon or a Walmart or Target under their programs uh, would would be charged so so they they decided SoftBank said that they would they would give or they would um, they would give 35 percent and finance this this uh, green box and in exchange um, Richard Cohen sold um, SoftBank uh, what was it 17.88 uh, million shares of 
um, Symbotics for $28.05 a share. Well, at that time, on the 24th, the stock was selling for about $40 a share. So the market read that to say, wow, they're diluting the shares. If you didn't read on, you would have read that Richard Cohn, whose family owned 78% of the stock, uh, was actually selling 4% of their holdings to SoftBank at that discounted price and was not diluting the shares. But obviously the market didn't, didn't recognize that because the stock dropped um, to $39 and... Um, 46 cents. It, there was a about a 27 percent drop in the stock on that announcement. And I thought, that doesn't make sense. They're not diluting the shares because Richard is selling SoftBank his shares, not issuing more shares. But the market didn't read that. And, and I think it was because I had listened to Richard explain how he, he, he kind of left the company for a while or took a secondary position and then came back because he thought it was so important that he, need, he needed to make his customers happy. And then when I, again, connected the dots, that he also wanted to make his shareholders happy. And I said, that's when I went and said, I'm staying with this guy. I, I don't care that I'm down on the stock. This guy's going to make this work. And the concept is is genius you know he's he's taking robotics he's combining that's that's the hardware and he's combining it with software and then he's not only getting paid for converting their their well warehouse he's not he's not building real estate he's not he's getting paid for that and then he gets paid a ongoing reoccurring income for updating and managing that soft that, that software that's in their warehouses and, and it said as he said in just this last earnings call in some cases he's actually supplying the management team for the warehouse to to run the, the equipment on site so I said this is this is a fantastic business well Monday the world woke up to it and said yes this is a fantastic business because they did their quarterly reports and they said their revenues were up uh, 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 76%. So that's what drove the stock up. But then what, what I don't think the rest of the world knew, they had, in, at the end of second quarter, they had a backlog of $12 billion. Well, they've added in the quarter additional contracts, but the, the green box immediately created another 11 billion dollars worth of backlog of people who wanted to, who, who small and medium-sized businesses said yeah we, we'll get we we want in on that too so here's a company now that has 23 billion dollars worth of backlog orders that they need to fill over the next two or three years and again based on their earnings growth from quarter to quarter this time it went up their 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 revenue went up 76 percent the only thing that's holding these people back is is the workers to go in and and convert these warehouses and then build the product the demand is there and as i can find they're the only game in town okay and they've got and so if, if somebody else comes into town and says, we can do the same thing, they're dealing with, yeah, but have you ever done it before? Uh, do you have any recommendations? In this case, Richard can say, yeah, uh, contact Target, contact Walmart, contact Albertsons, contact UNFI. That's a, a fresh, fresh fruits and stuff company. Uh, this is a no-brainer. This is a company that not only has a surge now, but has longevity. Now, what the, the message here is, and I don't know that now is the time to buy it or not to buy it. Today it's down, uh, and it, it, that's understood. That when you get a 50% run up, there's gonna be some profit taking, okay? I'm not gonna take profit personally, because I, 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 want, I wanna be a long-term holder. But my, my point is, if you wanna own a company, and this is the way I look at it. For, for the most part, I don't go into a company with less than $10,000 up to $50,000. If I'm going to make that kind of a commitment, I want to know who's running the company. I, wa I, I want to feel like I know him. 
and I, and I understand how he thinks and, and what his attitudes are, or her attitudes are, before I, I put the money in. Well, how can I do that? I can't get in my car and, and drive to uh, wherever, uh, um, wherever Symbotics is, uh, but I can sit in on their earnings calls. And I can not only read the transcript from Seeking Alpha, but I can listen to them. I can hear the inflection in voice, and it, that, it usually takes uh, about a half hour for them to make their presentation. And then you have some people who are smarter than me, who are analysts, who come in and ask questions and get answers. And you see how they answer. And some of these questions are very probing and, and, and very poignant. And you get a feeling for who's running the company. This is what I do, okay? I know, boy, that's an exciting life. It's what I enjoy doing. Uh, I, I've, I've built a company. Uh, I understand how business works. I understand, the, the, and I've said this before, when you analyze a company, there's three things you look for. Revenues, revenues, and revenues. And, and if you can't increase revenues, you can't grow your company. Uh, and there's only three ways to increase revenues, and that is to, to expand your TAM, and that's what they did. They, they had the TAM within the Targets, the Walmarts, the big box companies, but then they expanded their TAM by probably uh, a doubling it by providing a similar service to small and medium-sized companies. So they expanded their TAM. The other way you can in increase your revenues is raise your price. And that's what you're seeing a lot of the streaming services doing right now, because they're going to have to raise what they're paying the actors and, and the screenwriters. Remember, connect the dots. Our, the, 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 the screen actors and, and, uh, and the, the writers are on strike, okay? What do they want? More money, okay? How are they gonna get them more money? Raise your price, okay? See, the dots all always connect. They always, you just gotta be awake to see them. So that's, that's the second way that you can increase your revenues, raise your price. Uh, first way was raise your TAM. And the third way is to come up with a new product, okay? That is what Amazon has been um, a genius at. They, 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 they first started out selling you uh, goods and me, uh, books and records and clothes and computers and whatever. And then they said, we need computing power. So they started Amazon Web Services and that doubled the size of the business. The other people that are genius on that is Google. Um, they're always coming up with another product to sell you. So that's why Symbotics went up 50%. That's why it will continue to go up because Richard Cohen wants to make his, not only his customers happy, he wants to make his stockholders happy and he made me happy. All right, that's how I go about analyzing stocks. I share this information on our Discord and by the end of this week, I hope, uh, on our website. I show you my Bus 12. Bus, Bus 12 is software. How artificial intelligence is going to come to you and who the software is. And, and I've identified some companies. Uh, Bus 13, on the other hand, is all pretty much intact and that's the hardware. And this, this is big money. <laughs> you aren't, this, a Symbotic is not the only one that you're going to see with a one day 50% increase as the world wakes up to what's happening. It, it isn't about to happen, it's happening. And it has nothing to do with Procter & Gamble or, or what did I see today, John Deere or Caterpillar, it has nothing to do with them. That's what they're talking about on CNBC. We're talking about Symbotics and about, uh, I guess it's up to 25 other companies. Get on the bus and come enjoy this ride because it's going to be a profitable trip. I'll talk to you again more about this probably tomorrow.